That's my hubby. Mm. You. Seven forty one. Oops. Thank God we only have two hours to wait. Almost cried. Mm. This is a pseudo voodoo. We are gonna try to get some Pokemon. records and Pokemon today. I only want four records, but that's a lot because usually there's nothing that I want for record store day. Usually. I just go and pick through the leftovers. Mm -hmm. There's only like eight people here, not even. What if they only get like three? I don't know. I feel like, I don't think that, I don't know. Cause I don't know if there's scalpers or whatnot. All right, so today, we're decorating the bathroom. <laughs> Did you make a video on that? Kind of, <laughs> but okay. You should make a video about decorating the little wagon the holidays. It would have been more fun to like film it before I just did it. I know, but maybe if we get Halloween stuff you can make a video for it. Maybe I'll buy some stuff. We'll I can see. get some some cobwebs, some fake cobwebs. Go to Dollar Tree and get Halloween stuff. Yeah, look at them. I wonder if they have like Halloween gnome stuff because I sell gnome stuff. I'll have to see. I think somebody else Look is good here. All right, we're gonna go get in line, I guess. Three minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes. I didn't even get a donut. I, I put it back, but I don't know what the price is. So That's what he wants. I don't know if he wants this one. Red and blue. Oh, there's the weak guy. We are back and I got everything that I went for so I'm very happy. You guys already saw everything but I'm actually going to get my box cutter and open up the vinyl so if any of it's colored or anything we can see that. And then I'm also probably going to film another vinyl collection update video um, soon because I have some vinyl next to me so this stuff will be in that video as well. But I wanted to put it in this video and just do like my own little record store day video because I've never done one before. I've never really seen anything that I want for record store day. I usually go, you know, at the end of the day or I go like a few days later and I kind of just go through the leftovers. I never really pay attention to the list or anything. But this year I decided to look at the list and there was actually four records that I wanted, which was a pretty good amount 
So we did go early um, and Brandon and I were seven and eighth in line. I got this free bag um, and it's dated April 18th, 2020. So they've probably had these for a while and it's just promoting uh, Metallica and the San Francisco Symphony. So I got the bag for free. The only like thing that I thought was kind of weird is I've seen people do record store day videos before and they go to like Amoeba or they go to like other local stores and they get like a little goodie bag for free with whatever they buy and it'll have like stickers and buttons and free little CD samples and stuff on the inside like all this cool just like little freebies and the shop owner is very nice but um, and like I got everything I wanted and it was a good experience but I was kind of like put aback because he was like okay we have a bag, we have buttons, we have a CD, we have this and that. Um, he had posters but like you had to pay for them and he was like but you can only get one thing for free. When I had seen like three or four people in front of me get everything, like the lady that was next to us got a badge and a CD from the guy that she checked out with and then she went to the owner and was like, can I get a bag please? So then she ended up with everything and it's like, I spent like $200, like why couldn't I get everything? It's not even necessarily just the, the fact that like, oh I wanted everything, like I wanted the CD and I wanted the button. But it's just the principle of like, everybody else that I see gets it all. I had seen, you know, the people in front of me get everything and it just seemed like, I don't know, because the some of the people knew the owner so I don't know if he was just like favoring like his regulars or something but I didn't think that that was very fair. So that was my only issue. Um, I've never gone to a record store day, like I said, and waited or anything so I don't know if that's the usual. But like all the videos that I see, the people get like a goodie bag. Like even the local stores that aren't Amoeba, they like give them a goodie bag with like multiple things inside. And I had seen him for somebody like give them the bag, bag up the records, and then put the pin and the CD inside. And then he just handed us the bag and said, you can bag up your own records. And then, you know, he wouldn't let us get the CD and the button like he said we could only get one. So... I don't understand because he like rang everything up and he was like okay we have this this and this you can only get one and everybody that I had seen check out got everything so I don't know what was up with that and it's not like I got one record like I spent $200 like we still got a free bag which is cool I just like getting tote bags and I like that this one is kind of sized for vinyl records so I may just start taking this you know when I go record shopping and use this instead of getting just the plastic bags I'm gonna start off by showing you guys the record that I picked up for Seth so this is not for me this is Tyler the Creator Cherry Bomb. It's on vinyl for the first time. Limited limited edition record store day exclusive. Deluxe gateful packaging with an eight page booklet pressed on translucent red vinyl. So that sounds awesome. I'm not going to open it though and show it to you guys because it's not mine. So I don't think that that's very fair. But he went to a record store to get this in Michigan and some person was able to buy all that they had so they had about six of these maybe five I think they have five of these and by the time we checked out they were all gone everything that I got so super excited about these I think these were limited to 15,000 so it was a pretty high number but I got gorillas the G sides which is really really cool I listened to this um, you know back when I discovered Gorillaz and it's got like Rock the House which is the radio edit it's got Clint Eastwood the um Phi? Phi Life Cypher version? I think that's how you say it. Phi? Is that what that even says? Um, Left Hand Method is on here so super excited it's got some cool remixes some different edits and stuff and some originals love 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 the artwork but I've been kind of upping my Gorillaz collection, so. What's kind of weird is that, like, none of these say, like, okay, so two of them say that they're Record Store Day in that one, but, like, these don't even have, like, the silver seal that says Record Store Day, which I like having that on them. Murdoch and Noodle are on this side. So, so cute. Oh, and Russell. Russell's here. And uh, 2D as well super nice artwork once again and this is pressed on standard black vinyl 
Ooh, it's kind of like weird looking. It's like rigid on the edges, but it is just standard black. And this was $26. Next up, I did also get the Gorillas D sides. I was super excited about this one because it is a 3LP. And I think the only other 3LP that I own is my blurry face live but it's got a bunch of remixes and just different mixes it's got demo versions oh and this one was 46 dollars it goes like that on the inside they're just standard white sleeves and they appear to be pressed on just standard black vinyl as well those are both uh limited to 15,000 pressings and I think he had 10 of each of those, so it was a pretty common one that he had there. The Billie Eilish Live at Third Man Records. This is the Record Store Day exclusive. I know this was previously pressed. I don't know how it was exclusive, like if Third Man Records like sold it or what, but it's worth a, a decent amount of money. Um, the only difference is the cover is in green um, and not yellow, I believe if I'm remembering correctly, and I think it's also pressed on green vinyl. Um, this one says it's pressed on blue vinyl. It was recorded on November 6 in 2019, and it was $26.99. And this was the most um, pressed vinyl, so there was 17,000 of these, and I think he had about seven of them. Comes with a poster, black on the back, and then it is in a black sleeve. The yellow label and it is pressed on a nice bright blue I really like that I think the blue and the yellow look really cool together so I think that's a cool choice the most rare one but they had I think they had five of these um, which I was kind of shocked I thought they were only gonna have like one or two this was limited to 3,000 and I'm super excited it is the first time this has ever been pressed on vinyl it's the weekend um, my Dear Melancholy. Super excited about this one because it has Call Out My Name on it. Oh, Hurt You. Oh, So excited. And this one also has a Record Store Day sticker. It is dated April 18th, which is kind of fun. And I believe um, it said that there was an etching on this. So, oh, it is a gatefold. Ooh, spooky. Okay, I like this. So, it is a gatefold, but instead of the record coming out this side, it actually comes out the middle. Ooh, is this, it's like a gray, kind of like parchment paper. What is this etching supposed to be? Is it his eye? Is it his eye? Oh, it looks better there. You can see like his nose and his eye and then his forehead as the light hits and then it is just standard black it's single sided which i really like because then you don't have to like flip it you can literally just play the single side and just reset the needle so that's everything that i ended up getting for record store day let me know in the comments down below if you guys went to record store day today and if you were able to get everything that you wanted or not i'm very happy i was able to get everything i was really nervous <laughs> about the whole situation because I'd never done it before but it was a lot of fun. I got everything that I wanted so I'm happy at the end of the day. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you again very very soon. Peace out Girl Scouts.